Um, uh, good afternoon, uh, Earth Day today. Uh, Going to do a little little thing on adapter plates. Uh, you can see I've got my nice, uh, adapt my motor my adapter plate set up right here. Um, I'm gonna first talk about kind of kind of what I went through a little bit. Did a lot of research on adapter plates. Um, didn't find any that were overly suitable for me. Um, quality wise, um, just came up with the with the old standby um, cast style uh, adapter plates, which abound all over the place. Um, they do do the job. Um, Require, requiring a taper lock bushing. Um, taper lock bushings I don't particularly like. So I searched quite a bit. Um, the reason I searched because I found a, an adapter plate from an old setup from a long time ago that was uh, very well built and was trying to find something comparable to it that would fit the larger motors instead of the little dinky um, starter generator type, type motors back from the uh, late 70s um, for, for the early Volkswagens. Um, I per personally don't have the skill set to um, actually go out and build one of these. Um, and def definitely don't have the skill set to build one of uh, the qual quality of this particular adapter plate that I have here. Um, I'm going to do a quick quick show on this one. Um, I'm not going to go, go into too much detail, but um, a lot of people build adapter plates and I think that's great. Um, but they are all custom built, not something that you can just run to the store or check out on the internet and have them ship it to you. Um, I needed something like that, but I also needed something of high quality and found it. Uh, found only one place. Uh, that one place is uh, Rebirth Auto. Um, and they do a, did a bang up job making these adapter plates. They make them for the Volkswagen and, uh, and a few other vehicles. Um, they also make a dual adapter plate for the Volkswagen, so you can run uh, two, two, two motors, uh, one on top of the other, um, which I think is great. Um, this is a uh, uh, excuse me. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, that's okay. Anyway, uh, got a good, good quality um, adapter plate here that you can go out and buy. Um, since I really don't have the, need, the skills or need to, to try and build one, because um, you know I, I really don't think you can build one or have one built for less than what you can go out and buy this one for, and the quality still won't be as good as this one. I don't. I really don't think so. Uh, this is a one-piece unit. Um, it's a slip, what I call a slip fit uh, adapter plate. There is no taper lock that clamps down on the shaft that slides onto uh, the centerpiece here. Um, I've just got it set on the motor right now. I can literally just slide it off that easy. Uh, it's a nice adapter plate. It's got heavy, heavy ribbing in the adapter plate. The uh, uh, crank end here for the uh, flywheel, um, eight pins for the for the Volkswagen setup. Uh, it's width-wise, it's no different than any of the other adapter plates to match uh, bell housing setups. On this side here, you can see um, that it's going to fit. This round part here fits into an opening here on the motor, and. The shaft just slides, slides right in. Um, this is designed for all of the uh, warp nine, warp eleven motors, and also the uh, high voltage um, cost off nine and cost off eleven inch motors. So this is an, an adapter that can fit uh, multiple motors. Um, simple, elegant, very strong. Um, this will hold the weight of the motor. Um, hanging off the back of a car, um, where the other adapter plate that I have do uh, that. Um, this is one of, one of the few adapter plates uh, that you can actually go out and just order on the internet. Um, but the cast ones, uh, 
Um, and this one just slips on that easy. Um, the cast ones, um, to me, I wouldn't want to use one to hang off the back end of a Volkswagen. Uh, it would be a little risky, hit a hard bump and uh, break that thing. Um, it is cast, this one is not. This is a machined billet, uh, 60, 61, uh, T6 aluminum, and um, it's got a thrust, thrust, thrust and radial bearing. Um, it's a very big bearing in this thing that will hold the weight. Also, the motor itself has a bearing um, on each end, so the drive end actually now has two bearings um, for holding everything, keeping everything in alignment. Um, it's got a clip that holds the bearing in place so it's not going to come out uh, very strong. Same on the reverse side. Uh, this adapter plate has a few extra holes because uh, Seventh Rebirth had to uh, redo this adapter plate for me uh, to fit my cost off because my cost off is an older model with a larger diameter shaft and a uh, different bolt pattern. All the new cost offs are uh, exact same shaft size diameter and um, bolt hole pattern so they'll just match and so they just have one size fits all. Um, this one is not a one size fits all anymore. Uh, this one is uh, one size fits two. The old style 11 inch cost off and if I replace the center piece because this one had to be changed um, if I had a se separate center piece which I could probably put in myself if, if I had one um, would then be able to uh, go back down to a, a 9 inch um, warp motor. Um, just wanted to show you this. It's uh, simple. Uh, on the back side, when you're looking at it from the back side, you won't see any holes back here for mounting. Um, mounting, mounting holes that you see here are for uh, uh, back side of the transmission. So when someone's looking at your piece of work that you have. Um, they're not going to see these big ugly bolts hanging out both sides, which you'd normally see on the old Volkswagen. Um, so that cleans that whole thing up. So the back side, this, this whole back side right here is nice and clean. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that too well, so I'll swing it around this way. The back side is going to be clean. Uh, no big bolt holes. Uh, this is a big motor. This adapter plate can handle the weight, uh, no problem. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, what an excellent job that uh, Rebirth Auto did on building an adapter plate. They have many available. Um, just go online and buy one. Uh, prices are very reasonable. Um, not super cheap. They're not giving them away. Um, but for anybody who's got a, a decent vehicle, um, this is a very nice. This is a very nice setup. Nice unit. Um, mine got a little scuffed up because I hadn't put it in my car right away. Um, but still looks good. I can I can clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. But um, very well, very well built um, adapter plate. You won't find anything any better. Um, I guarantee it. Um, you can build one. Taper locks. Taper locks are fine if you like taper locks. Uh, I don't. So that's what I wanted to find. Um, thankfully, I was able to get one um, without a taper lock, and uh, very, very, very happy to find it. So anyway, that's that's about it. Um, I'm using a stage two clutch on mine, and uh, I know if I put too much power to it, I could burn it up. But I'm not building a hot rod here, so I think for me, a stage two is fine. Light, light and flywheel, uh, standard. Uh, Clutch disc uh, with springs. Um, I didn't have any trouble with the uh, Dynage GE in my in my current gear with a stock clutch. Um, this one's a lot stiffer than stock. This is a 2100 pound um, pressure plate. Anyway, that's it. And until next time.